All right, so now I have that 328p Arduino running uh, my code, which sends uh, different demo um, eliminations on that LED strip. And the idea is I'm supposed to be able to change what is being displayed with the infrared remote I have. So I have that little infrared reader here, which is just a signal pin, uh, power and ground. And then by pushing buttons like here, red, it is supposed to make the strip go red. Obviously it's not going on here, not, not working. So let's look at the sealed monitor here. Uh, while I'm pushing the button red, you're gonna see uh, FF or other garbage data. And effectively what's going on is the interrupt handler for this IR needs to run at an exact uh, time. Otherwise it's not sampling the infrared coming in from the remote quickly enough and then it's getting the wrong signals, maybe dropping bits and reading something else and giving me other data in the end. And what's going on is the NeoPixel strip here has a similar timing issue where it needs precise 800 kilohertz timing for those LEDs to get the right color. Otherwise, they will just display a different color than what you're trying to send. So here I'm using the fast LED, fast LED code, um, but you can use the Adafruit uh, library too. And they both have the same issue. Well, it's not an issue. They have to be running a CLI here. Whoops. And the CLI will actually uh, tell interrupts to stop. So once this runs, it has full control about on timing for the LEDs. So they give you the correct color, but then the infrared is not running quickly enough and it's returning garbage like this. So, okay. Well, I guess what we can always try to do is we can disable that CLI and see what happens. Let me save that file. Recompile and re-upload the code. All right, almost pushed. And we're done, all right. So I'm gonna stay on the screen for now. I'm gonna push the uh, remote off screen. I'm gonna push red. And now, look at this, it is getting the red. I'm gonna push green. Oh, okay, it's getting green too. So now my interrupt handler that's receiving um, the RR command is actually working properly because it's not being interrupted anymore. Perfect, except now the LEDs aren't doing what they're supposed to do anymore. Uh, what you're seeing here, it's all supposed to be green and you're seeing random other colors in the middle. This happens when the interrupt handler for the infrared is running. So you basically lose one no matter what. If the infrared is working, then the LEDs aren't working properly or the other way around. I'm gonna send some blue. So you can see the command is going through, right? The blue is being sent. But as it's resending that blue, uh, some of the pixels are getting garbage colors instead. There is one way around it. If you're willing to live with just sending the blue and then not doing anything, not updating the LEDs, and then the infrared works, so you do LED update or IR reading, then it would work, but it wouldn't do both at the same time. The problem is I have demos like this one, um, let me push this button, which are constantly updating the LEDs. It's basically a flame effect, so the LEDs just change colors all the time, which would mean that the infrared would never work because the LEDs are always busy changing. And basically it comes down to there's no good solution. This chip, uh, the 328P, is just not powerful enough to do both uh, in real time. Uh, some people have taken a solution where they take two chips. They take one for the infrared, one for the uh, LED driving, and then the, both chips talk to one another. So the first one reads the infrared command, buffers it, and send it to the second chip, which is busy sending infrared commands, and the talking between doesn't have to be real time. That is one solution, but of course I prefer to have one chip. And the only way around that is to take a more powerful chip, which is what uh, this one is, Teensy. Uh, Teensy is actually a 32-bit uh, AVR, sorry, not AVR, an ARM chip, uh, which can run quickly enough to run both at the same time. And I will show this next.